<laughs> so, Mr. Garrett, Hank Garrett, how are you doing? Doing very well, thank you. So we're so excited about this wonderful exhibit today at the Hollywood Museum celebrating the LGBTQ community. Yes, in fact, one of my dearest friends in the world is being honored, Jerry Jewell. Oh, that's wonderful. We've known each other for years. Oh, I didn't know that. So you and Jewell, Jerry have known each other many years? Oh, yeah. She's an incredible lady. The funny thing is that she's a comedian. And I am as well. I was Tony Bennett's opening act for four years. So I've known you for a while and I didn't even know that. That's a wonderful fact. Yes, I'm also in the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame and I'm also Grand Master in Martial Arts. Oh, that's wonderful. Can't you tell? Yeah. Well, well, you need, well, you need to be. I think uh, that's, that's, a good, that's good to have, especially right now. <laughs> Caught up to me. <laughs> So, um, and I love, I love this necklace. Well, this thank, necklace is gorgeous. Thank, yes, uh, we were at a wolf rescue where they rescue baby wolves. And so the lady who runs the place gave one to me and one to my wife. Yeah. So where can people find in, more information about you? Well, it's hankgarrett.com. And, uh... The book, my book is out right now, and it's called From Harlem Hoodlum to Hollywood Heavyweight. That's a great title. And it, yes, my publicist was responsible for that title, and it's uh, doing well that people are now working on it as a film. Okay, well, we'll see you at the red carpet for the film. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we're here with Steve Peters, and uh, you were in the eyes of Tammy Faye? Well, I was interviewed in 1985 by Tammy Faye Baker as a gay man with AIDS, a gay pastor with AIDS, and uh, they portrayed that interview in the film. It's a turning point in the film, and the actor Randy Havens plays me. Uh, and it's such a thrill to see my story up there on, on the screen in a feature film, an Academy Award winning feature film. What a thrill. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that must have been such a... So I, I have to see the film now. I haven't seen it yet, but I've been wanting to. I've been hectic, but I'm definitely going to watch out for that. Oh, do. So you're going to be saying the prayer for this evening's event at the Hollywood Museum, the Real to Real... Right. Mu yes. yes, I'm saying the prayer, the opening prayer for the Hollywood Museum's Real to Real Pride exhibit, and I'm so proud to be able to do that, and uh, I'm so touched and honored that they asked. And uh, this is a very important exhibit, you know, reinforce our pride in ourselves as LGBTQ people. And I love that the Hollywood Museum is so supportive and has always been. I think it's their ninth annual, and it's their ninth annual event, so they're always so supportive, which is wonderful. It is wonderful how supportive they are, and I wish that everybody, every museum around America would, would have this attitude of supporting LGBTQ people uh, everywhere, uh, because we need it, you know? It's, it's important. Uh, there's... Uh, you know, clouds on the horizon, and, and uh, some places it's not as easy to be out and proud as it is in L.A. or New York or San Francisco, but uh, um, exhibits like the Real to Real Pride exhibit here for the Hollywood Museum make a real difference because tourists who come, they can see, oh, wow, there is something wonderful about LGBTQ people. Uh, and the way we're portrayed in films. What an exciting thing to see. So I'm hoping it'll make a big difference for people. I'm sure it will. Oh, wonderful. Well, have fun tonight, and thank you so much. Are you still around? Can people find you anywhere on the Internet? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm at Rev Steve Peters. I'm still dancing on Facebook. And uh, at A.S. Peters on Twitter and Instagram, A.S. Peters, P-I-E-T-E-R-S. So, yeah, look for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so here we are with Kevin Spiridis. How are you? The mask. Hi. Um, how are you? I'm good. We're still kind of in that halfway phase. So, I know. So halfway. We're trying to be respectful. With in, out, out, in. <laughs> 
How appropriate. <laughs> how appropriate. How appropriate. So here we are at this amazing exhibit tonight. How, do you, how are you feeling? Well, um, I found out about this exhibit in 2019 when um, Harlan Bowl grabbed me off stage with my Emmy in my hand. He said, give me that Emmy. And I said, what are you talking about? We're going to put it in the exhibition um, for uh, the real to real LGBT Q stories, LGBTQ stories uh, about real people, real gay, lesbian, and transgender in the community. And I was so honored to be included in that. Tonight, um, I'm kind of passing the torch in a, in a way. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Michael Slade, my late collaborator, um, uh, one of his Emmys is going to be presented to the Hollywood Museum tonight to stay here and to be spotlighted for love, honor, and pride. I love that. That's so beautiful. It's an honor to him for everything he did with me and After Forever and the show that we created. And it's a sad, ex it's a sad occasion, but it's a, it's a motorcycle one. It's a sad occasion, but it's also uplifting and it's important that we keep telling our stories. Well, and especially After Forever, what a great show. And, you know, um, it's just promoting everything we want, love and happiness. It's about love, life, uh, life, love, and new beginnings. And everybody is still traumatized from this extraordinary pandemic and how we've been shut down and how we lost people. And then there's gun shootings. Every, you know, we are a broken nation, and we have to find the love. And also now your character on Days of Our Lives, that's like a, a, an amazing character situation there. I didn't hear the last part. I didn't hear the last part. I just said for Days. <laughs> and this is live, live sirens. I mean, you would depend from Hollywood, California. I'm sorry to hear you through the mask. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. All right, and go. So tell us about your character on Days of Our Lives. Well, my character on Days of Our Lives is the same character, Dr. Craig Wesley, and um, it was extraordinary that they brought me back to the show and they had my character come out as a gay man. And I thought it was an extraordinarily brave and wonderful, uh, full circle um, telling of the story. And you don't know it's going to happen until it happens. So I'm, I'm proud of it. So, any other projects you want to talk about? Um, at the moment, I'm just sort of getting ready for season three, the final season of After Forever. Michael Slade and I had written it before he passed, and um, September, we're going to rock it out. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll look for you on Days, and where can okay. people find you on social I media? I hope we'll find me on Days. I hope we'll find me. And, um, and uh, Amazon Prime is where After Forever lives. But I am um, at kevinspiritus.com, at kevinspiritus. After Forever the series.com, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. The BBC, okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, your mask is you. I have this one. This one's oh, mine. I, I have the quick. Oh, I love that one. That's so I have this one. So you have a bionic buzz. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. So, uh, so here we are at this amazing yes. exhibit. How are you feeling? I'm very good. I'm so glad to be here. I've, I mean, I've been to the Real to Real event every year. I've had stuff like shows I've been in exhibited here. And then I'm thrilled tonight. We've got Fran Drescher, the head of our union, and my friend Jerry Jewell, who's... How many careers has this woman had in one lifetime? And then we have Deadwood. She does everything. She's an old friend of mine, so I'm thrilled to see her. And then, of course, there's Michael Feinstein, all these people. And then my friend Steve Peters. Um, you know, Isa Tammy Faye, Real life, you know, all based on the life of Tammy Faye, and she interviews the Reverend Steve Peters. Well, the real Reverend Steve Peters, as played by Randy Havens in the movie, is alive and well, and he's actually standing next to me, and if you didn't interview him, he's probably be back this way when he's done. Um, and he's a, like one of my best friends. He's my best friend. I hang out with him all the time. And he's going to be speaking tonight and talking about the impact of films like Eyes of Tammy Faye and the portrayal of LGBTQ people in media. It's just, you know, it's, it's a big deal. And also, I don't know if your fans know, you have this amazing newsletter. Yes, the Nelly newsletter. If you don't have the Nelly newsletter already, you what you do is you send an email to uh, uh, Loose Gravel Prod. That's L O O S E Gravel, like it sounds. G R A V E L P R O D at AOL dot com. Loose Gravel Prod at AOL, and you can sign up for the Nelly newsletter. And you can also visit my website, which is at Bonnetheads dot com, because I know you see Prairie Bonnetheads. Bonnetheads dot com, and read all about it. And once a month, you get a little newsletter. Tells you where I'm going to be. Tells you where every 
everybody on Little House is going to be. If they have a book out, if they're in a movie, if they're doing a show, if there's an autograph thing happening, it tells you everything that we're doing and all my activities. And it's really fun. And you get the saga of Sock Monkey. What? The saga of Sock Monkey. Sock Monkey, secret agent Sock Monkey, who is uh, like international crime fighter extraordinaire and, and a Sock Monkey. Uh, and he has very interesting adventures, and it's this bizarre stream of consciousness adventures of Sock Monkey. I don't know. My husband writes it. I don't know what Sock Monkey's going to do next. Don't look at me. I don't even write that part. Oh, I love that. That but is the wonderful. The newsletter is fabulous. My husband Bob puts it together, and I go, oh, wait, did you get the one? We got Dean Butler's at Laura Palooza. Oh, I got to put that in. So it's, but everything. We, we report on the rest of the cast and it's really fun um, and then of course on Facebook I'm still reading I'm reading uh, Little House in the Ozarks right now articles Laura wrote for the paper um, I'm doing all kinds of stuff I just did a video the other day because um, it's a company called the Queen's Treasures they do all the uh, the prairie dolls there's like a Laura doll on a little wagon they just came out with a bunch of little prairie dolls but they're bears like if all the characters were bears it's the funniest thing in the world they're so cute and there's an Ingalls set and an Olsen set and and Nellie Olsen is now a bear. And I was laughing so hard I thought I was going to die. And it's a whole kit. You open it up. It's a whole market. And there's, there's Mrs. Olsen as a bear. And I was just like cracking myself up and playing with the bears the other day. I I'm love that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's so much going on. There's so much happening. And then, you know, and then I had the movie I did last year, uh, Even in Dreams. And that's out now on DVD and Blu-ray. And so, yeah, we got stuff happening all the time. Well, you're an icon. We love you. Thank, Thank you. you for stopping you. and have fun tonight. I will. I will. Thank you. Okay. Glenn Scarpelli from One Day at a Time. And this is my boyfriend. John Ritchie. Hi, John. How are you? Very good. Thank so, you. So, Glenn, what's so amazing is you also, you're on TV where you're at, right? No, no, no. I yes, yes. I own a TV station in Sedona, Arizona. So, I'm on TV all the time over there. But it's always wonderful to come back. So, Johnny lives out here. He's a game show producer. He's one of the producers on um, ABC. Pyramid, $100,000 Pyramid with Michael Strahan. So now I have a lot of reasons to come back to Los Angeles. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. And, and how are you feeling about tonight's exhibit? Oh, we're very excited about the exhibit. You know, we have so much, so much love for the Hollywood Museum and for everything that they do. Tonight will be no exception. We have great pride in who we are as people and our, our, the love that we share. Love is love. And um, I know the exhibit will will back me up on that. Yeah, yeah. It's really exciting. We have Fran Drescher. We have Jerry Jewell. We have so many people tonight. So being honored and just what a great, great situation that um, they're always promoting and promoting the love and the, and just which we need right now, especially. Yes. So a fun little story. Um, Johnny was the executive producer of the Hollywood Museum Squares which during the pandemic helped raise money to keep this place afloat and alive. And he invited, he and the team invited me to be a celebrity guest on that. And that's how we met. Whoa, that is the best story ever. So the Hollywood Museum, we thought we were doing Hollywood Squares, but we were doing Love Connection. You were doing Love Connection. Yes. I, I know, so here we are now, a year later, and um, going better than ever. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Debbie Clemens, we love you. She's a wonderful friend of ours and jewelry maker. Wonderful. Okay, so where can people find uh, you on social media? Social media, Facebook and Instagram are my, are my jam, um, at Glenn Scarpelli. And John? Uh, JR Graham 89 on Instagram. And I'm on Facebook, too. Well, thank you both. Have fun tonight, and uh, I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, thank you. It's so nice wonderful to, you. to see you again. Because we're care. Facebook friends, too. Take care. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So here we are with the amazing Carolyn Hennessy. How are you doing tonight? I'm fabulous. How are you? It's so good to see you. Nice to see you. So how, do you, how are you feeling about this museum exhibit? I can't wait to see the exhibit inside because, you know, it's the first. We haven't been here in two years. So... And in that time, you know, great strides have been made for the real to real LGBTQ community. And uh, and as a ally and advocate, I can't wait to see what they've done. Fran Drescher, Jerry Jewell, Michael Feinstein, um, and Jerry's a Jerry's Jerry's a friend of mine. Fran Drescher has always been kind of a wonderful uh, comic masterclass to watch her. And then Michael Feinstein, you can't get better. So so I can't wait to see them honored and hear what they have to say and see the exhibit. So. I know it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool people tonight. So tell us uh, what you're up to. Oh me? Oh, I'm just you know on General Hospital, 
thank you. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Thank you, ABC Disney. And uh, and I've just shot uh, three films. I've got a film coming up. I leave uh, I leave on the twentieth, and then uh, and then I'm going to take some time off in my favorite city in the world, New Orleans. So so there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, I'm so happy. We love you on General Hospital. Thank of course. you, honey. Thank you. And um, and so, uh, what are your thoughts right now? Like, I just think this is so wonderful with the museum. She's always so supportive of everything. She's Donnell Dadigan is everything that comes up. But this, the, the, I think, this particularly is a cause that's cl that's close to her heart. And you know, in the, in the, this day and age. I always feel if you're not, listen, you don't have to host the party and you don't have to come as a guest, but you can't try and shut the party down. That's all I have to say. Oh, I love it's that. It's as simple as that. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Just because you don't like the music that they're playing or the food they're serving, you can't shut that party down. So so she's she's in there. She's keeping the party going. Exactly. Right? Exactly. I love it. So where can we find you on social media? Uh, www.carolynhennessy.com. That's the Instagram. <laughs> that's the, the Instagram handle. That's the That's the... Twitter and Facebook and you name it, uh, that's it. And it's the short spelling of Hennessy, H-E-N-N-E-S-Y. So go and find me. And I have a new podcast. It's called Life, Love, and Conservation with Carolyn Hennessy. That's on YouTube, Spotify, every place you can find a podcast. Apparently, it's there. Life, Love, and Conservation with Carolyn Hennessy. We just shot our fourth episode. It's you know we're young, we're new, and we're finding our way. But it's a lot of fun, and it's short. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're gonna watch that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Good to tell you. Good to see you. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you.